Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bring you guys another episode of the New York Islanders Jet Mode Commentaries. That is right guys, so I'm getting ready to go into year 3 here. Uh, I asked a bunch of you guys some uh, line, you know, line suggestions and all that in the last episode, and for the most part, most of you guys agreed where to put the players, and a lot of you guys uh, just agreed in general with all my placements and all that, right? So, um, but one thing did come up, and that's for the third line right wing spot, Kalak Pozo. Now, he looks like to be a top six player, and if I didn't have players like Kreider, Yakupov jump up, um, I would be playing him in the top six, but the issue is here, uh, he's definitely going to get worse if I play him on the uh, the bottom six. So what I'm gonna many of you guys said to uh, trade him, and I have a perfect trade. Um, I guess target, uh, and I'll show you guys in a second there. And uh, one more thing is the fourth line center position. Uh, we have Chris Kelly right now, and I would love to play Kelly right now. That's the thing, right? He's a perfect fourth line center, and he just he do, he does it all. He's a very well rounded player, and I'd like to play him over Brock Nelson right now. But the thing is. Brock Nelson's listed as a fourth line center right now, right? And he's got the four star potential. I've looked at his trade value. I'll show you guys in the video. Uh, it's pretty good. So we could get some return for him if we want to play a different center. Uh, but the thing is, we have him signed for a really good contract. Three years at 1.3, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, he's still got room for improvement. So if he doesn't get like a jump or anything like that, he maintains his trade value next year. We could look at trading him, but I just don't see the point at doing it right now. So. He had decent. He had a decent year last year. Uh, obviously, his first year is much better, but that's not uh, big of a difference or points on the fourth line. I'm looking at the defensive category, if anything, and just the well-rounded aspect of a player. Uh, so, but what I want to do, I'm going to be playing Nelson this year, regardless, and I just want to see if he can, you know, turn to be like a third liner. Even, you know, if he turns out to be a third liner, we can train for something, and uh, yeah, we can always look at that. So, I'm just going to put him there for the penalty kill and all that right now, and then we'll change the lines uh, to our liking, and uh, yeah, but. I, what I want to do is make a big trade, not necessarily a big trade, but uh, trade away Akpozo for someone. So, what I was looking at, I was looking at third line score. Okay, we'll just go to trade negotiations. Uh, third line scoring forwards, and uh, Charlie Quayle came up. So, Minnesota, we're going to be going to. Uh, Minnesota, and he's a right winger, I believe. Yeah, Charlie Coyle, okay? So, he's 82 overall. He's listed the, as a third-line scorer. He's basically got the same stats as uh, uh, Pozo, and uh, he's got the four-and-a-half star potential, right? So, he got 50 points, but that's he's probably playing top six minutes. I don't want him to be playing on the top six. But if, if he can turn out to be an Ocpozo and for a much cheaper price and a good term, I don't see why not. So I think it's a really good pick up there. And Ocpozo, you know what? It's basically like a one-for-one -one trade. So Ocpozo does cost a lot more. Uh, I'm not quite sure what his years. So three years at three points. Pretty good if we're going to be playing him in the top six, you know. Uh, so... We're basically building for the future, but also for right now, if you know what I'm talking about. So we definitely save money, but they're basically the same type of player. I think he's just going to excel better on that third line. And four and a half star potential, he could turn to be something better. You never know, right? And he's just really well-rounded. And you know, once again, we can even build him up his trade value and train for something more. You know, asset management, all right? So, um... Uh, we could, yeah, we could do that one for one, but I just want to see if we can get something else. Let's just see what else Minnesota has, but we will get some simulation done in the video, guys. Uh, I just want to make this trade and do some land changes. Uh, let's see, Granlin, how good's Granlin? Yeah, not bad. We don't need him for the team, definitely not, but uh, I just want to see all their prospect players. No more defense. <laughs> uh, Blum, wow, geez, 85 overall. Uh, wow, he's a pretty good player. Uh, we definitely don't need him, but uh, I, I wouldn't mind picking him up if we uh, didn't have the defense. Uh, let's just see this player right here. Yeah, that's probably he's probably not going to turn out to be uh, too much. Uh, see how Spur Spurgeon actually uh, ends up to be a pretty decent player in this uh, in this game. Uh, just, yeah, he's got really sick offensive stats, but I just, we're just making trades for the sake of uh, trades right now. So I think we're good there. And uh, one, yeah, he has one year left, so. Probably came and resign him. And uh, rookie goalies, anyone decent? No. Uh, yes, yeah, so we could do just a one for one trade. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, okay, now they can't take that. Why is that? Uh huh. 
Well, okay, you know what we'll do? We'll simulate up to here because it might just be a cap issue right now uh, since a preseason all that, but we'll just simulate up to here. Uh, get the cap uh, all sorted out, and hopefully that's the case. If not, we'll just simulate past the um, the preseason. doesn't really matter for preseason lines and all that. So go back to Minnesota, see if anything changed. Minnesota, do, 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 there we go. Um, Charlie Coyle, I believe it's fixed now. Okay, so where? Okay, right wings. Cockpozo, and there we go. It's fixed. All right. So, yeah. I just think I think one for one it's probably gonna work out. I don't think we can get too much more uh, We could go after a second round draft pick, but we'd also have to give up a couple of our draft picks too, so uh, I'm really not looking to do that, but uh, if we can sign or throw in some Who the hell is this Jordan? Okay, he's a defensive prospect um We could give up him Mmm. Do I want to though? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we could do that. Let's just see if that would go through. If not, we'll just go one for one. We can throw in Jordan and um I don't think a second will go through. Uh okay, we can get our draft pick back. Uh yeah, we could try that. Uh, third round. Yeah, we'll try that, okay? So, Kyle Pozo and Michael Jordan, Mikhail Jordan, but, and, uh, child car, or, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, Charlie Coyle and a second round pick. So, we're getting her second round pick back, hopefully. And, yeah, you know, we'll just throw in a bunch of depth picks, too. It's the ones we're not gonna use. So, like, um, yeah, we can throw in the, f uh, two fours. How about that? All right, well, will that go through? Let's see, and it does. Okay, so we believe this transaction will contribute to our success here in Minnesota, so we're accepting your trade offer. So, not bad, boys, not bad. So, we did trade away one of our defensemen. Thing is, we have a lot of defensemen in the system, and uh, I think we have to make room for some anyways. So, uh, yeah, see right here. I think it's D'Angelo. D'Angelo, D'Angelo, not quite sure. And, yeah, see, I really want to play D'Angelo, so uh, he's going to be playing down here, but we'll fix that after. Uh, power play, D'Angelo, or, yeah, well, you know, okay, yeah, so D'Angelo, four-man power play, uh, D'Angelo, uh, I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna be cutting this out, guys, so, uh, don't worry that I'm just gonna just do this really quickly, and, uh, I'll do this on my own time, but, uh, there we go, and there we go, so, let's see how Charlie Coyle's looking there, and that looks pretty good, right, so, we got the second round pick, and we got Coyle, so, I'm really happy with that trade, and, uh, it could work out pretty nicely in our favor, so, I'm gonna edit the lines, guys, for the AHL and the NHL team, and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Alright, guys, and I'm back, so... I did all the lines. I'm not going to go through them. It took a really, really long time. Uh, but nonetheless, we're ready to start simulating. Uh, I think I might make one more AHL trade before we actually start, like, the normal simulation. Uh, but I also want to put a question to you guys as well. Oh, jeez. 5-1 loss. My goodness. Not a good start, boys. Not a good start. Uh, but I also want to put a question to you guys about our goaltender situation, which I'll show you guys uh, right after the uh, preseason. So, uh, Coyle's doing good. Pots and two goals. All right. So, he's looking all right on that third line. Oh, excuse me, man. Oh, I'm so stuffy. Goodness gracious. I hate being sick. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, but Morgan Riley with two. All right. So, oh, we get a loss there. Okay. God damn it, guys. We we have our full lineup dress. Let's go here. We got to get some wins. <laughs> all right. It's not like it's a big deal, but come on. At least get a couple more. All right. So, we're up. Okay. So, the salary cap and all that. Okay. Okay. Stop simulation. All right. So, what I want to ask you guys about goaltenders is uh, we have, an, I think we have a little bit of an issue. So, we have Eddie Lack, right? 86 overall, he took us to the playoffs, played phenomenal, we're keeping on to him. Thing is with Varlamov though, he's a good goaltender, but look who we have in the system coming up. So, we got uh, Jeremy Smith, I guess it's Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy Smith, he can play right now, okay? So he can play right now, our goaltending would get slightly worse, but he can play right now, that's the thing. Kevin Poulin, uh, he still has one more year, he can turn to be a backup. Uh, he's, he's still looking like a decent backup now. And we have Oscar Dance coming up. So, 
I really want to ask you guys this question, and I don't know who do like. What do we do with Smith? What do we do? I want to keep Dansk. Uh, we can scratch Poulan and put in Smith. But the thing is, okay, we got to turn off automated ro uh, goalie rotations, but. Uh, the thing is, guys, I don't know what to do with goaltending, so please let me know who should we trade away. I think I'm going to put a couple players on the trading block uh, just to see what we can fetch for return. And I haven't really used the trading blo uh, block much, uh, but we'll see what we can uh, get. We'll just uh, we'll sc uh, clear all that. Uh, first person who I want to put up is, let's see, not Kreider. Uh, we'll put up. Uh, Ness, Nilsson, uh, Poulin, no. Uh, we will put up, uh, we'll put up Varlamov, see what we can get. He still has, uh, has a bit of trade, but we can even trade him at the trade deadline. You never know. Uh, so we got him up there. Um, who else do we want to trade? Um, Yak Boars are other goalies. Uh, yeah, we'll put Smith up there. See, because he has two years left, it, uh, much less, right? So, uh, and thing is, Varlamov star is a start uh, is listed as a starter, so I don't want two starting goaltenders, right? So we'll both put we'll put them both on the chain block just to see what we can fetch in return. And yeah, I really want to put that question to you guys. I don't want to go another episode with this issue. So really, let me know. And uh, yeah. But I'm going to take a drink of water right now, guys. So I'm going to cut it here. I'll be back in just two seconds. Okay. Alright, that's much better. But anyways, guys... Let's get going here, all right? Let's just start it off. I have the automated goalie rotations off, so uh, I think, I, yeah, I started Oscar dancing in the AHL. But, uh, yeah, I just want to see how that turns out. So, a uh, big, big win. 3-2 win over the LA Kings to start it off, which is good. Come on, boys. Beat Philadelphia. Ah, oh, 3-1. Jesus. Oh, Riley with two goals out of boy Morgs. The Morgster, man. Hopefully, he turns out to be good. I got him on the power play units and all that. So, hopefully, he can tally some points this year. We'll see. We'll see. All right. 6-4 win. I think we could keep the puck in the net a bit more. But, uh, I'm not going to complain too much there. So, 6-4 win over Florida. Can we beat Detroit? Get them their first loss this season. And, uh, 3-1 loss. God damn it, boys. All right. Come on. We need to start off good here, okay? We got the team. We got the pieces in place. We're doing good. We got to beat Montreal. There we go. We beat Montreal. Nelson with three assists, all right? So he's doing work on that fourth line. See what I'm saying? That's why oh, I'm glad I kept on to him. one nothing win there over Tampa Bay. Uh, okay, so it's a pretty decent start here. Come on. Let's see if we can beat Columbus. 5-0-1. Pretty decent. Pretty good. All right, come on. Can we? Ah, oh, 2-1. God damn. We just can't beat those teams. Uh, we beat Calgary, though. And I uh, just want to see who should we uh, put it for scout. Um, oh, excuse me, guys. I do apologize. Um, we'll go WHL for six weeks just to see what's good there. Uh, see if we can put up our GM stats a bit. Um, can we? Yeah. Okay. So pro scout we can put up. Uh, assistant coach. Well, can we go? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put up our pro scout, confirm purchase. There we go. Uh, so that's going to help out with the scouting and all that. And uh, we will simulate up to the 30th of, no 30th of November, okay? So did a bit more than a month, but let's we'll see here if we can keep winning. All right, nice. The 6-3 win over uh, the New York Rangers. And should I do a 2-1 loss ratio with our goaltenders with the AHL and the uh, NHL? Let me know, guys. I really need to know. Okay, big 4-1 win over there. Uh, I really need to know what this goaltender situation is. Should we trade Varlamov at the deadline? Should we trade him now? Should we keep Nielsen? Should we uh, trade Nielsen or Smith? I can't remember who our goalie's name is. Uh, but what should we do goaltender-wise? I really need you guys' input. I think Smith would be the best option to trade Varlamov because the cap hit and all that. So uh, I really need to know, guys. So Or we can even sign Varlamov for pretty cheap and trade our other um, AHL gold, uh, goalies. Just let me know. I really need help on that. Oh, two losses. That's bad. 
Oh, uh, come on, boys. But, uh, I, yeah, I really want to know, guys. Please let me know. I do need some help out there. But we bounce back with a win over Toronto. 9-2-3 and three is not that bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, let's see if we can beat the Pens here. And we do. 3-2. Uh, Tavares leading our uh, team with 9 goals. So he's basically a point of game. He's got to be a point of game player. So... Our team's looking pretty good. Eddie Lack with 10 wins. He's doing just fine in the cage. 5-4. Uh, God damn it. Right when I... S Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if I might cut out there. Uh, but come on. Oh, my God. We just cannot be Columbus. Jesus. <sighs> What's going on? Come on. Beat Detroit. There we go. 3-2 over Detroit. Uh, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. I'd like to get to 14 wins if we can get a winning streak. God damn it, man. Come on. Let's get going here, boys. Ah, it's just, oh, come on. Let's go. Our fourth line's doing it. Plus five. I, I, I think defense is our issue right now. 4-1. Oh, my God. Come on, guys. Come on now. Please. There we go. We bounce back with a win. Come on. I want to get a nice stretch here. There we go. Nice win over L.A. Uh, Kurt Ashton plus six, pretty good fourth line, man. I, I just want our deep, our uh, bomb six to play good defense. Come on, we uh, there you go. There's a must win over Calgary. Uh, 14, six and three, not looking too bad. I uh, think we can do one more. We can do one more month really quick, and we will. Uh, yeah, we'll go up to we'll go up to Christmas. Why not? <laughs> but um. Yeah, this video is a little bit long, but I uh, just wanted to get the line changes, the trades, and all that. Um, oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to do. I want to make a trade for a, a HL player, and another one there. There we go. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Uh, it, I'll tell you guys who it is in a sec. I just think we should uh, pull more uh, players in the... Um, for our uh, HL team, uh, forward-wise, I think we should get a couple more forwards there. So, uh, I have a trade in mind. Oh, two losses. God damn it, man. Come on. Can we not string together like four or something like that? God damn. All right, come on. Okay, so we... I think we did WHL. Uh, see what OHL is. Uh, nothing too strong there. Uh... Yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll go OHL six weeks. Uh, it's never a bad idea to do that. And, uh, yeah, we'll go up to the 25th. All right, so a couple more games. Let's go, boys. We'll take a look at the stats. We'll make that trade really quick. 5-4, uh, not bad, not bad. I think our defense really needs to step up. I don't know what it is. I think we're laying in a little too many goals. Uh, but we are scoring, which is good, so... Come on, boys. Let's go here. Tavares is kind of slowed down goal-wise. And another win there. 2-1. Those are the type of wins I want. So that's good to see. Good to see, boys. All right. So we got a, a really uh, rough stretch here. We got Chicago. We got the Pens. We got the, the Rangers. Uh, how do we lose to fucking Carolina? God damn it, man. Um, okay. So we won there. Uh, good. Chris Kreider leading with 12 goals. Jeez, man. He scored on that second line, which is good. Kreider and Yak. Uh, big win over there by... Um, over the pen, 7-1. God damn. All right, boys. It's looking pretty nice. Okay. 10-14. Uh, wow, Chicago's really trailed off. I don't know what it is with Chicago in this simulation. We won 5-1, uh, which is good. But I really don't know with these teams. Like, I never... I, oh, 6-1. God damn, man. We're scoring and keeping the puck out of the net. Really nice stretch by us there at the end. Uh, take a look at the stats. 22-8-4. Pretty damn respectable, uh, respectable, if I don't say so myself. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at the stats. I'll make that trade in the next episode, actually. I don't want to end it off with a trade. We'll look at the stats, and I'll let you guys uh, judge what we should do. So, Tavares, point-of-game player. Yeah, of Patrick Kane, basically a point-of-game player. Uh, Yakupov completely tearing it up on that second line. Kreider with 13 goals on the second line, doing just fine. Uh, Eller looking like a pretty good season. Morgan Riley having a one hell of a season. I mean, look at that. 19 points in 34 games. Pretty damn good for a defenseman. Landeskog, he's kind of slowed down. I don't know what we should do with Landeskog, okay? So, he does have 10 goals, but uh, I think we should keep him on there. Uh, if not, we can always switch around things. You know, put him on the power play or whatever. Switch things around. Uh, and uh, Sezegas at 13. Is he a plus? I just want to make sure. Is he a pl oh, we went to Tavares. What the hell? Just want to make sure Sezegas is a plus. Yeah, plus 5. Dwight King doing just fine. Plus 2. Okay. Nelson doing good there. 10 points. Uh... Yeah, he's look at that man. He's really, he's really uh, improved. Uh, Twelve points in eighty-two games and ten points in thirty-four. So I'm glad we kept on to Nelson Ashton with nine, and it just trails off from there. So uh, also, let's look at our uh, rookie goalies. 
Uh, okay, we... Okay, no, forget it. We'll just go to goalies right here. Uh, yeah, Varlamov, man. Jesus, I, we're not even using him, so... I think it's time to trade him away, but 2.44, uh, 9.2 basically, save percentage. I mean, Eddie Lack is doing just fine between the pipes, and we will look at the AHL really quickly, and we'll end it there, boys, all right? So let's just have a quick look at uh, what the AHL team's doing, all right? So we'll have a nice look, and then we'll end the video. All right, points-wise, Adam Ernie, Alex Sonier, uh, Calvin DeHaan, Sam Reinhardt, Phillips, uh, and Sundstrom. Uh, let's just see how the goalies are doing. Uh, so Oscar Dansk is doing really, really good. Uh, 9.2 save percentage, basically. Uh, but the thing is, I want Jeremy Smith on the NHL team. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what I should do with the goaltenders. I really don't know. We have a lot of goaltenders and just a lot of depth in the system. So it's looking pretty nice in uh, the New York uh the New York franchise, I should say. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. So once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more HO14 GMO commentaries. That's right, guys. Peace. All this attention got me hype, cut the lights Baby, this ain't only for the night Baby, this is life, uh This is where I'm taking flight and never touching down Said it, now they know I meant it When I say we run the town